What have you got um, uh, lined up for, for your future now? Well, I've got my testimonial year this year. Um, a group of people got together and said, look, we'd like to, like to award you a testimonial year, so that's gone well. I've had my first function at Lords in, in June. It went really well. I had 510 people there. Um, so we're another six events. And obviously my book, um, thoroughly enjoyed it. It was almost like a therapy session in a way. Um, you kind of bottle things up as a player, and, and you know I went through quite a, um, a vast amount of lows. So it was great to sit down and, and finally speak about things that I probably haven't wanted to, to speak about in the past because you know it's one of those things you, you hold it inside. So it was a great therapy session for me. Um, but working with John Hutton uh, and Yellow Jersey Press and, and Kingsford Campbell was was a real special experience. Yeah, we've spoken to a lot of cricketers of gone through a lot of lows, either through injury and coming back and yeah. not being able to play. Um, it's, it's, it's obviously really good to see, see you back and, uh, and obviously helping with, with a, a book like you've written. Yeah, it's one of those things, you know, 2005 defined my career. Um, you know, when everyone mentions my name, they always talk about 2005. So, you know, 10 years on is, is something I wanted to do um, to celebrate probably the best part of my career. Um, but also then um, to have a chapter on the first test and then do a chapter on my life and, and so on throughout the book. I think it, it works wonderfully well. It's different to any other autobiographies. Um, and all I've had is good responses so far, um, which delights me because it's one of those things that you want people to enjoy it, but to also understand what you've been through. Um, so, yeah, the, the response has been great. All the best for the future. Thanks a lot. Cheers.